Hello everyone, it is Nip here again. Yesterday we posed some question regarding about grounding and bonding. Hmm, is there any code violations in this installation? Okay, do you think so? Yes, uh, let's check out the answers for that. Okay, the first one, Mr. Erickson Louie. Uh, lack of tagging? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, it could probably, but this is for grounding, so it will not be required. Identification will not be required for that. Okay, bear is allowed also. That's a grounding electrical contactor. And then for copper, copper viking, conduit is not bonded. Yes, that's for sure. It's uh, okay. And then RD11784, that's exposed, stranded, should be piped all the way. All right, that's right, baby. Needs bonding on the pipes, and yeah, that's like that. Okay, David, I like their answer here. Oh, God, what's that? <laughs> uh, let's just uh, move, move more. Why none of the conduits bonded? Wow, I like that. Yes, that's from Grant Hunter 324, Butch Jr., no band from uh, grounding conductor to conduit. Oh, right, you've got the right answer here. Uh, I just need some more motivated Mitch, ground bushings on the rigid. Right, you got it. And then Dolex, uh, what happened here? He's crying. <laughs> uh, some um, kind of in a, yeah. So let's check some code provisions and we have made Yeah, this was our from previous foes and since on our question we have some ferrous metal raceways enclosing the grounding electrode conductor Yes, we will be needing some bonding at each end of the raceway, okay? So for that we can check here that this is the conduit here and also the grounding electrode here running there but we need this conduit here to be bonded also here so bond okay so this is applicable for uh, metallic race uh, ferrous metallic raceway if you're going to do pvc or some non-ferrous metallic raceway then it's not required okay so yeah thanks